This, my friends, is a star fortress. If you lived back in the day where your military uniforms looked like this, you usually lined up and shot at people with muskets. Well, if you ever encountered something like this and you were supposed to attack it, well, I'm sorry, but you're about to die. These things are considered almost impregnable. Very difficult to attack, especially by land and even by sea. Now this fortress has been laid under siege and there's a giant hole in it, but we're gonna be on a mission today. We're gonna try to take it over. Now at first I'm gonna be defending it to learn its strengths and its weaknesses. And then I'm gonna pull a Benedict Arnold, or is it Benedict Cumberbatch? One of those guys betrayed Anyway, and I'm gonna join the attacking team and try to attack it by foot. Oh my goodness, you see that man? They created a space program. And if we're not able to do it because it's hard, well then what we're gonna do is spice it up by introducing some what if scenarios in vehicles. First things first, we gotta choose some weaponry of the era and it looks like I've got this. It's not a whole lot of weaponry, but it's honest work. Oh man, look at this conga line. So if we're in the blue uniforms, I would imagine we're the French. Man, this thing is massive. The walls are even bigger in person. Wait a minute, who put that door over there? That's stupid. Oh, sweet. So we've got some field guns. You can tell they're field guns because, well, they're not really in the field, but those guys have field guns. So I'm gonna be a very smart officer and, you know, get on this rampart here. Guys, those are close quarters weaponry. What? You, only in Ravenfield would you guys be like, you know what, screw a musket, I'm gonna use my blunderbuss, AKA uh, the shotgun of the old world. <laughs> Did you see that guy fly by? I love that. Oh, the British are coming, the British are coming. Don't fire until, oh my gosh. You see the whites in their eyes. This is a truly impressive sight. You see those cannonballs just sailing over our heads? They already destroyed one of these guns. I actually make that too. And the enemy's field guns, like must, they must have us lined up, sighted in or something. Oh geez, look at that man, he's twerking on it. Oh, that's brutal. You never wanna get caught twerking on a cannon in the middle of the battlefield, guys. Now, how accurate is this thing? It's not very accurate. I need a field gun, somebody repair these things. I'm the officer. I went to gentleman school and you guys went to peasant school, so fix my gun. Right, Is am I doing it right? I, I don't know. Guys, if these guns, wait. Oh, I thought that guy was a red guy for a second. Isn't it confusing? It's like one team is blue with a little bit of red and the other team is like red with a little bit of blue. Well, I'm gonna drop some ammunition in a medic bag straight from the fruit from the future here. With the enemy getting to their cannons first, they're able to shoot at ours. Um, all right, how far away is that? Oh man, ooh, I, d I planned it that way, guys. Stay, it, give me my gun back. All right, so that was one notch. I'm gonna try two. Oh, that's definitely too short. All right, so we'll go, we'll give it a, just over three notches. Did we hit him? Hey, I took out a field gun. Okay, so uh, around three notches. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. There's so much smoke. Okay, there's a gun right there. Hit it. Yes, okay, I'm taking out two field guns. So I feel like, remember that we're defending so we can be better in attack, right? Come on. <laughs> um, I think silencing these field guns on the tip of the star fort is the first key we're gonna wanna go for. Oh man, wait a minute, was that a musket? What the heck, they're behind me now. Oh gosh, this is bad. Oh! Hey boys, how am I missing? I haven't hit a single shot. Well, when you're an officer, you have a pistol and you got a sword, right? Guys, you gotta cover my back so I can do the field gunny things. Oh, I think by firing it, I actually destroyed the gun in front of me. And even like, wait a minute, I have an idea. Hello there, British people. We have no tea. We do have frogs and croissants. Now there's a lot of guys hanging out there. Yeah. All right, what's my kill? I'm at 20 kills. I feel like in this era, if your KD ratio is 20 over zero, you're doing good. Mainly because you're not dead, but you know, it's a math joke, guys. All right. You, you, you ever see the Battle of Helm's Deep in Lord of the Rings? All right, so they come over the walls. <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you welcome to France? Hey, stop that. Oh, it's not reloaded. <laughs> That's some friendly fire from the cannon. You idiots, come up here. I got a sword. I'm waiting for you. 
Oh my gosh, I, I literally cannot hit the broad side of a barn with my musket. I don't know how inaccurate it is, but this has got to be the best minigame I've played in Ravenfield in a while. It's called <laughs> Helm's Deep Simulator. Viva la revolution. Uh, I don't know. Wait, 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 you're not allowed up here. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, old sport. I'll go back down the ladder, come back up, and then you hit me with a sword. That's right. Oh! So we're in the inner sanctum. This is like in, in Helm's Deep. You go to their cousin city. What the heck was that? Was that a musket ball? <laughs> Sir, it is not time for yoga on the line. We are having a battle. Oh, man. Can you imagine being these guys? Like, yeah, I'll walk out in the open field, right? For king and country. Pip, pip, cheerio. While all these French dudes are just taking pot shots at you. So this is what the other side of the wall looks like. I don't see anyone on their field fence anymore. Oh, we do have those little outer embankments. Oh, that's a French guy who just got shot. They only have 60 men left, and we still have over 150. I mean, barely over 150, but it still counts. Yes! Let the record reflect. I have killed someone with my musket. I am now a man. I am no longer a boy. Yeah, I just, like, don't believe that they're going to hit me with their muskets, right? So I just kind of stand out in the open and dare them. Like, hello there, British! I mean, oh, mon chéri! You know, I don't, I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys, that's my second one. All right, they're on the inner bits of this wall. Oh, look at this. We've taken the outer walls. There's... Oh, can we climb up the wall this way? Yes, we can. Yeah, honestly, using a saber is a really, really good weapon. Wait, are they retreating or is that a French guy? Like, I'm gonna go secure one of those guns. I think it's actually a French guy. Oh, this is the last remaining Brits. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> nothing, no, nothing personal. You're just, you're wearing red and I'm blue. And let's be honest, blue is cooler. Until I'm wearing red. Don't worry, I'll be on your team soon. Don't do that. I love the, like, random flutes. Like, actually, that's one of the weapons that you can have. Step one is going to be silencing these three cannons by using one of those field guns over there. Then entering by foot. I don't know if the ladders are going to be the best way. Or coming up the side here. That looks... I think it's the ladders. There's not going to be a guy sitting on top of it with a sword. Only one way to find out. Now it's phase two. We attack. Now, if memory serves, we should be able to get to our guns before they get to theirs. They have to climb up the walls. We have, oh, we have a ton more too. N number 16, this is literally my cannon. Right, now, if it took us three. All right, it's a little higher than three. Go three and a half. Oh, living. Oh, that's a little too high. Is, Jerry, get off my gun. 3.8 notcher, right there. Oh, just short. Number 16, get off my frickin' gun. All right, so that was, what, a 3.8? So if we go four. Hey, I finally did something. All right, so we've got 173. They got 178. We're going to use some secret weaponry. Gentlemen, I have no idea what you're trying to do here. <laughs> okay, I didn't see anything. <laughs> Carry on. Oh my gosh, man. You, you really can't interrupt things like that. Look at that guy. You see him flying? <laughs> he just like skipped across the water. This is a type of battle that I really wish Ravenfield was multiplayer. Can you imagine this with like 500 actual people? You're like, well, Baron, isn't that just Mountain Blade? Napoleonic Wars? You know, I don't know. You might be right. Ooh, like, and if there was destruction physics, like if you just shelled this enough, the walls would break. Ooh, wee! All right, you're up the wall first. You guys first, after you. Up, 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 up the walls. Thank you. Uh, we're actually, no, there's still 24 ahead of us. Oh God, this is, <gasps> ah! <laughs> That's awkward. I'm trying to get this gun. So this is the strategic situation. The field guns are over there. If I go on foot here, it looks like we can wind around the back. I just see so many like random musket shots from the blunderbusses flying overhead. They look like fireworks or something. Eagles lost a battalion, but we've lost one and a half. So they're 50-ish men ahead of us. I've got to get in there and just start hacking people. Hmm. So if we use the quote unquote secret weapons, attacking from the left side might not be good. They do have the back. You know what? They do have the back door. Wait a minute. I think the French are coming out now. 
I was like, there's two in a row. I can't miss that. You know what we need is the old school grenades, which are just like the little like things where you light the wicks and throw them. Do you guys ever play Empire Total War? Oh, mon cherry. Oh. <laughs> All right, my kill count is only seven. So I think it's clear that attacking this thing is hard. Maybe if we had mobile field guns, like if we could roll them up closer and put them behind these like cool little like stockades as cover. All right, before this war is over, I need to see the back door. Gentlemen, you may fire when ready. The reload animation on this thing is amazing. All right, so this is the back gate. Oh yeah, this looks like a pretty solid spot to attack from. You can even walk up the ramp, I guess, and then fall down. Are you, all of you guys doing that? Yeah, we got parachutes though, Commander. On me, gentlemen. Line abreast and pip pip cheerio. We're going in there. Go. Attack. You may fire when ready. Fire. Because I'm ready. Oh yeah, we gotta take this back flag. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just got 13 kills. Now, it was a day late in many, many uh, British men's lives short, but getting in that gate is essential. Now we're down to our last three men. I don't think we're gonna do well. It's time for phase three. Bring in the secret weapons. Gentlemen, you may start your steam engines. Now, if any of you guys have ever played like Warhammer Fantasy, you'll recognize this. This is an Imperial steam tank, and there's a bunch of us rolling in these eggs. This is so amazing. Why is there never like a Warhammer Fantasy first person, like, or even third person comic? Game? Well, you know, there's Vermintide. Yeah, I got it. Steam tanks, boy. Wait, how do I fire the main gun? I don't think I do. Wait a minute, do I? Oh, I don't really have like an aiming reticle. Oh, we can shell them. Okay, so how are the kills? We actually have done more damage to them than they've done to us. Probably because we have a lot more cannons now. Oh, one of the steam tanks just blew up. We're advancing pretty solidly though. Yeah, like we've effectively doubled the amount of cannon fire we can put on those gates. We're marginally ahead. Sir, please watch out for the steam tank, all right? If you're gonna stand there, at least go back and summon the electric counts. So my, like I barely see anyone on the walls. I'm afraid of firing this and hit my own men, which is not a very Warhammer thing to do. Like, normally you're like, oh, you know what? We don't really care. Everybody's gonna die. Yeah, and we're the red guys, so obviously we gotta use the red steam tanks. I haven't hit much, but you know, and it's it's honest work. Oh, look at this guy. Ha ha! <laughs> He's trying to run back up on the ladder. All right, we're barely ahead of them. Steam tanks are the way. Why did no one ever try to do this? Well, steam engines couldn't push it. Okay, fine. Science, I get it. Science means we didn't have tanks back in the day, or at least very decent ones. So what I'm gonna do, we're at the back gate. We're only five ahead of the enemy. Since we've closed the distance, our margin that we're ahead has gone down. How many men do I have in this tank? Oh, they're there. Now, they have muskets, guys. They don't have anything that can stop me. <laughs> <laughs> This is so unfair. It's amazing. I think I get a concussion though by how many musket balls are bouncing off my iron sights. <laughs> now, can we take the, this thing is the question. I haven't been able to run anyone over yet. I think I'm just too slow. This is awesome. We're ahead by 20 now. We went from ahead by only four, I think at its closest, to now like 20. Goodbye, James. Ivan in five sides. What's my kill feed at? It's 11. That's, you know what? Oh, we've, we've gotten through the gate now. And we're cutting through the back. And the AI has actually driven a steam tank through the door. And the AI is using the front gun. And AI is using the side gun. And a guy's sitting up there with a, this is glory. Oh, there's another one. Hey, guys, welcome to the party. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I spoke too soon. I got friendly shotted. I think. I'm just gonna assume it was friendly fire. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm getting hurt. Oh, that's a bad shot. We are ahead by like 40. I mean, when you got tanks and the enemy doesn't. I told you it was friendly fire. Mongoose, you son of a biscuit. Now, a lot of people don't know about Marienburg, but I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at this thing. It's a tank pirate ship. I think it's safe to say we've won. 
I'm gathering as many men as I can. All aboard the doom wagon, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is glorious. We're gonna drive this thing right into the back gate. This is a Marienburg class battleship. So we've got like the French, we've got the British. Well, Marienburg is basically like the Dutch. Guys, stop getting run over by the land ship. Walk around the giant wheels. Ooh, we took a cannon. I like the guy up at the top like, sir, I found them. Oh, where are they, Billy? They're over there in the giant fortress. Oh, you're right. Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna go serpentine. Is the engine on fire? Guys, do something. This, this, is, this is a really bad idea. <laughs> They're winning. All right, let's try this again. We're winning again. If you look on the map, we have tanks pretty close. Those two tanks right ahead of us. I mean, it's hard to see in this giant smoking pirate ship. All right, we gotta make it through the gate. I love how my guys are just like casually taking musket pot shots at the enemy and this guy's still chilling up there. What are you, you he's he's armed with a flute. I can't, he, he's armed with a flute. All right, so they're ahead by about 25 kills, but this is actually impressive. I feel like the AI is moving in together with these two steam tanks. Uh, well they were, I spoke too soon. He's like, I'm gonna go run over my teammate and then go back. Okay, well, you know, and shoot the, yeah, shoot the wall, okay. <laughs> Imagine you're a guy defending the base and this thing rolls up. Are you gonna be scared? Because I think the answer is yes, okay. All right, we're gonna try to get through here. Oh, we're too big. All right, I can still assist using this cannon. Hey, I killed one. I think they're over there. It's too close. We gotta take the courtyard. All right, the battle plan is as follows. Gentlemen, take the courtyard. I'll hold the line. This is hilarious. All right, there we go. Finally getting some kills. We just don't have enough men. Oh, now they're pouring through. There's a lot of people coming through that gate. If I can stun them or kill them, preferably kill them. Oh, that guy just got evaporated. I don't, <laughs> they're standing on my tank. Oh, they're just conga lining through that door. Oh, that's the shot right there. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do this. Uh, we're down to 50 men. Using the Marienburg land battleship was not the play. I have to use a tank from the beginning and probably lead this charge and maybe we do better. There's another tank. It's gonna be close. This is just fish in a barrel. Yeah, they're just standing on me. Maybe I should be driving around and causing a ruckus. <laughs> the ragdolls, man. I need to, I need to double cannon. I need to Goliath tank this steam tank so I can fire faster. We took the courtyard? We're gonna take the courtyard. Unbelievable, it's finally happening. Oh, we're down to nine men. Wait a minute. I don't think they're gonna be able to kill the last of us that are in the tanks. There's gotta be at least, how many of us are in these tanks? It's coming down to the wire. Five of us left versus 14 of them but they're just arbitrarily charging out with their muskets. <laughs> Six versus four. Oh, don't kill those guys. It's three versus three. How did I miss that? <gasps> We're victorious. I mean, of course we are. We're using steam tanks, but I guess this is, answers the question. What would happen if, if there were steam tanks during a starport siege in the Napoleonic era of war? And this is your answer. Thanks for watching.